Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Runner. My name is Paul. I'm an endurance runner and an RRCA certified running coach. And this is my unboxing and review for the Saucony Axon 3. It promises to be a budget friendly, high stack daily trainer. So I'm really excited to give them a try. Now stick with me. I'll get them out of the box. We'll run through the specs. Then I'll lace them up and get them out on the roads for some test miles. Then I'll provide my final thoughts so you can decide if this shoe is right for you. All right, here we go. All right, folks, thanks for sticking with me. Let's get these Saucony Axon 3s out of the box and see how they look. Wow, beautiful hydro blue and black colorway. All right, so the Saucony Axon 3 comes with 35 millimeters of stack in the heel and 31 millimeters of stack in the forefoot, giving it a four millimeter offset from heel to toe. My men's size eight and a half shoe weighs in at 8.5 ounces or 243 grams. The fabric that makes up the upper of the shoe feels like a thick nylon type material. I would describe the cushioning in the upper as semi plush. The tongue of the shoe is not truly gusseted, but it is connected to the rest of the shoe through two elasticized bands on either side. The padding around the collar of the shoe is definitely ample for comfort, but I definitely wouldn't call it luxurious. The rubber pattern on the outsole of the shoe looks very much like other shoes in the Saucony Endorphin line, but it is definitely much thicker, designed to last many, many more miles. All right, I've got the Saucony Axon 3s laced up, so let's get them out there on some paved roads and some packed trails and see how they perform. Now. The weather is looking a little bit iffy right now, so we may even get to test them under wet conditions. We'll see what happens. about six miles into this run and uh, I just wanted to share my initial thoughts as I am actually running and it's all fresh in my head. Um, the Saucony Axon 3 is making an absolutely stellar, absolutely incredible first impression on me. It's just a wonderful shoe. It's got a firm yet forgiving midsole with a whole lot of spring considering that it is not a P-Bax midsole. And uh, it gives you just enough cush to be forgiving, but it's springy and you've got so much stack between you and the ground. There's no ground feel, but man, you can go a long way in this shoe without any foot or leg fatigue. Absolutely guaranteed. To the point, folks, where this may be my shoe of choice for my upcoming Road 50 miler. I can't believe I'm saying that about a budget shoe, but wow, <laughs> it's uh, the upper is not completely breathable. Some air is flowing through. It's not nearly as breathable as the uh, Saucony Endorphin Speed, for instance, but it is more breathable than the Saucony Endorphin Shift, which is so plush that no air gets in. That's a very hot shoe, though it is a very comfortable shoe. Um, 
the midsole is softer than the endorphin shift. It is, this is not a stiff midsole. This has got just enough cushion to keep you comfortable. No harsh heel landings. And I've got to say, the uh, speed roll technology, which is uh, modeled exactly after the endorphin line, is just absolutely beautiful. If you're used to running in the endorphin line from softening, you're gonna feel right at home in this shoe. It just rolls you onto your toes and you can move nice and quickly with very little effort. Now, the outsole is a very thick, grippy, grippy rubber. And uh, I'm absolutely loving it out here. I'm looking for something bad to say about this shoe book. But when you consider you're getting all this for anywhere between 89 and $99. It's incredible. I mean, I would love this shoe if it was $120 or $130. I'm not just shining you on. I'm really, really impressed. The uh, collar around your ankle is not super plush, but it's got some nice cushion. So it's not gonna rub against you. It's not going to you know, leave you feeling like you wish there was more to protect you. It's just enough. And uh, the heel cup is holding me absolutely solidly in place. Again, to harken back to the endorphin line. If you're secure in that shoe, you'll be absolutely fine here. Now, if you do need a little more help, there are extra eyelets so you can do a runner's knot, but uh, I'm not finding that necessary. The tongue, Stands nice and tall, not too tall where it's rubbing against your skin above your sock or anything. I'm wearing some no-show socks and uh, it's not bothering me. It's padded enough where I do not feel the laces digging in. The forefoot is amply roomy. It's just got plenty of room for toe splay. I'm not finding anything to complain about your foot. <laughs> I know it's sounding like Maybe Saucony, <laughs> give me some fringe benefits for saying something nice, but holy moly, if this shoe keeps on performing like this over the next couple of runs, I've got a new favorite daily trainer, folks. All right, I'm out for my third run in the Saucony Axon 3s. This should put the total mileage at 26 or 27 miles. And uh, I'm happy to say, folks, they're breaking in. They actually feel softer today than the last time I ran in. And uh, plenty of padding just in the fore and midfoot for when you're climbing hills and uh, plenty of cush in the heel of the shoe for when you're coming slowly down it as well. Now, I do not want to paint the picture at all, but this is a soft, super plush, cloud-like shoe, like an Asics Nova Blast, but uh, it has certainly got ample softness to keep you protected and comfortable. If you like a slightly firmer ride, if you feel like the Nova Blast is just too much squish to be able to pick up the pace, then I think you're gonna love this shoe. I love that firm springiness in the Axon 3 going up hills. It really comes in handy to have that bounce back in your forefoot. I'm dying here. Oh, this is a big hill. The shoe's definitely making it easier. All right, folks, this is my fourth run now in the Saucony Axon 3. And I'm happy to report that the midsole has softened up even more. Now, this is not a squishy shoe, but by no means is it firm. I know the two previous iterations of this shoe were somewhat infamous for being a little bit too unforgiving in the midsole. 
kind of like the uh, Saucony Endorphin Shift, at least the two first two versions of the Shift. But uh, yeah, they've changed things for the better apparently because this shoe is just awesome. I'm definitely gonna be using this shoe for aerobic runs and slower than aerobic easy runs and for slower long runs where I'm just trying to grind through miles, stay comfortable, but not wear a shoe that's like super squish. That's just meant to baby your feet because this doesn't baby your feet, but man, they're comfortable. They are not the most breathable shoe in the upper, but uh, I guess that's where Saucony cut a corner just to try to save money to keep this as a budget line shoe. But with the exception of that minor complaint, not even a complaint, <laughs> um, I would say this is a shoe that far outshines its price tag. Just, I'm, not to oversell this, but I'm definitely going back and buying another pair. I mean, the tread on the outsole is nice and thick, so I know it's gonna just be there after four or 500 miles plus. I'm out for my final run in the Saucony Axon 3s in order to get them to 50 miles and give you a, uh, what I would consider a comprehensive review. I purposefully have been saving this final run for a day when it's wet outside. It's uh, going between drizzle and heavy rain today. And uh, got the camera on while it's <laughs> light rain, though it is building fast again. 82 degrees, it is heavy humidity, and uh, I'm really curious to see how these shoes do when uh, road conditions are a little bit slippery. So, I'm happy to report that they're doing exceptionally well. If you've ever run in the Saucony Endorphin Speed or Pro versions one or two, this has got the same outsole. So, uh, you know, it's uh, you don't get the sense that you're like really, really gripping the ground. But at the same time, I've never felt with this shoe or with any of those other shoes that I mentioned that I'm like in danger of falling. Um, as you can see, the rain is picking up and I'm still running, feeling perfectly secure. Um, the grip is there. I don't feel like I'm losing any energy because I'm slipping backwards with each uh, push back. And uh, yeah, it's just a great shoe. The midsole is just soft enough to give you the relief you'll, you'll you'd appreciate on an easy day run, or if you're just logging miles in the aerobic zone. And uh, it's still, even though it's just soft enough to give you that relief, it's still got some spring to it. Even after 50 miles, um, you know, it took, 20, 25 miles for this shoe to soften up to its maximum sort of comfort sponginess. But now that I'm here, it's lasting. So very happy about that. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a shoe for the days when you feel utterly dead, like when your legs and your feet are just barking at you and you just need super cush. But if you're out for a recovery run and you're feeling all right, except for just, you know, general fatigue then this is a great shoe because you'll get maximum return from your energy that you put into each footfall instead of just kind of sinking into a shoe that just drains you the upper is protecting me very well from the wetness you know it's not the most breathable upper but it's not horrible you know at this point i'm nitpicking um the shoelaces, I've only got a single tie on them. For every run, I've only ever had a single tie on them. And uh, they stay put. They've never untied mid-run or anything. So good news there. And uh, the laces have plenty of length. So 
So if you want a double knot, even with a runner's knot, you're gonna have all the length you need to get it done. So, uh, yeah, I just like this shoe, folks. And for the budget price that Saucony offers it at, and for the incredible sales you can almost always find on them, this is a buy. This is a shoe that I recommend to anybody who's looking for a trainer that uh, just eats miles and uh, does so in a very pleasant way. You know, this, this shoe outshines the endorphin shift and it does it at, uh, you know, if you find this on sale, half the price. <laughs> Just incredible. Saucony, please, please, don't screw this shoe up and don't stop the iterations from coming out. This is my new standby. This is my new uh, default shoe for easy days and for slower aerobic runs.